guys. I am headed back down here to the barn. I had to make a feed run to uh, goats about out of feed. And I wanted to give you guys a shot of compost got delivered today. Got three different piles. Um, I had only planned to put compost in this one side where we're gonna do the spring crops or do the cool season crops. And um, it's good looking stuff, really good looking stuff. But I put a little bit in the other side because I don't know that, I mean, I may be able to stretch it, I'm not sure. When I start, uh, I'll get a tractor right here after a while and I'll start moving it around so I can get it uh, mixed in. But yeah, um, I wanted to show you this box here from Hollis Tools. Those are, I'm pretty sure, it's the seed potatoes that I ordered. Now, you guys heard me say in the video uh, a couple days ago that uh, I like using Hollis Tools because of their shipping. You can't beat their shipping. Now, Hollis is in uh, Georgia, South Georgia. We're in Central North Carolina. I ordered these seed potatoes on Wednesday. Today is Friday. So I ordered them Wednesday, they shipped and got here in a little over two days. You can't beat that kind of shipping. Um, I'm still waiting on my seed trays, my 200 cell seed trays. And uh, they should be here first of the week. And then we, what's up guys? What's happening? Every time I come there on this golf cart, they think I got something from the house, some scraps, some bread or something. So they come running to the fence. But yeah, um, seed potatoes are in, and I'm gonna open this box up. We'll get a shot at this here in a minute. I'm gonna see what they look like. I ordered 25 pounds of red Norland. Um, great potato, I love that potato. And it holds real well, and it's not real hard to grow, but like I said, it's a little early in the year for potatoes, but you know, I'm going under the assumption that it's gonna be hard to get seed potatoes, which I've heard several people say that it was gonna be hard to get potatoes this year but I'll take a look at this so yeah these are red norland potatoes 25 pounds and I ordered some cauliflower seed also um, never grown cauliflower but I want to give it a shot that's the minute man I ordered two packs because I'll grow it here in the spring and then I'll probably try to grow it in the fall. But there's a hundred seeds in there. Uh, that should be a gracious plenty. If it's like broccoli and stuff like that, then I'll probably only grow uh, two rows of it, 50 foot in each row. The red Norland potato, 25 pounds. And this certified blue tag seed potatoes. You see the eyes on here. And what I'll do with these is put them inside the barn up here and uh, let them get a little light to them and they will start to sprout and you can see these eyes on here really all you've got to do is cut off a piece of this potato that has at least you know a couple eyes on it and once you cut it let it sit up uh, usually a day or two and it will what they call super eyes it'll get a tough uh, film on it and what that does is that keeps that potato from rotting and when you put it in the soil in the garden Because you'll put that side down with the eyes facing up And we'll get into that stuff when I get ready to plant them So, you know, that's all for another video, you know, we're not even going to think about planting potatoes till after Valentine's Day um, Which is two weeks from now, but I've got enough to keep me busy getting ready to put these in the ground I got a new area of another garden that I'm gonna try to pota uh, potatoes in Actually, these red potatoes are going to go next to my corn, and I'm going to try another uh, white potato, Yukon Gold. I'm going to try that potato down here next to my onions and uh, garlic. So, all that will be coming up in a new uh, in a video here in a couple of weeks. I will be getting I will be getting this cauliflower started in trays. Let me turn around here because that sun's all in the way. This cauliflower started in trays here pretty soon. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, the seeds that we planted early this week, what was it, Tuesday? I planted broccoli and cabbage and all that good stuff. Well, 
no surprise that the broccoli has already sprouted. I already got green in those trays. And uh, I get ready to do another video when I plant this cauliflower. I'll give, give y'all guys an update on where everything's at as far as coming up. But yeah, let me get this feed over here. I still got some hay I got to go get up from the house. But yeah, I thought I'd give you guys a shot of that. We got our compost. Uh, I'm gonna go down here in a little bit, start moving that stuff around a little bit. And uh, yeah, we'll get ready to plant us a garden here shortly. Okay guys, normally I plant my potatoes up here in the big garden. But this year, looking at, I took the tractor through here um, day before yesterday. And this dirt is, it looks really good. It's not compact like clay. And it's just, it almost looks like it would be great for potatoes. It's really loose. Um, it's got some good body to it though. It's a few rocks, but this place is eat up with rocks. But yeah, so I'm thinking, and that's what I'm doing this for now, is that uh, I want to take the tractor through here a couple times and, and go ahead and get the rest of the rocks out. And that 25 pounds, I'm thinking four, maybe three, four, uh, 60, 80 foot rows. I can get a 100 foot row in this garden, but um, I like to have an area behind there to where I can drive the tractor to get into another row. So when I'm laying my corn by and stuff, I can still get the tractor back there and come out. So 80 feet, I'm thinking 80 feet is gonna be a gracious plenty here. And I have thought about running my rows this way and I can get more rows in that way. But I don't know, when I start laying things off, I'll, I'll look at it and, and see what can be done. We're also gonna plant uh, Yukon gold potatoes, but we're gonna plant them down here beside where you see the, uh, the mustard. We're gonna be disking that in here shortly. But yeah, uh, pretty excited. I'm gonna get out here, I'm gonna take the tractor and I'm gonna pull some of this stuff away just so I can handle it a little easier and I can get it in all areas I need to. And if I need to move that other pile and put it in this one and finish it off, that's fine. Um, I may be getting another load here in a couple of weeks. I'm, going, I'm thinking I'm gonna get a big load and put it in this garden because it'll be just a little while before we get ready to plant corn. And uh, I can use it, wheelbarrow it, and trailer it over here to mix everything in. So yeah, we got a lot of stuff going on here. We're trying to get it done while it's still dry. Appreciate you guys stopping by. And as always, we'll see you on the next one.